one does not simply walk into Mordor. Welcome to the land of shadow. In today's shadow cast, a special dark surprise. Hey everyone, uh, in today's video, I had planned to focus on Sauron and the forging of the Rings of Power. Uh, however, I've gone ahead and decided to change things up for today's Shadowcast. Um, we'll go ahead and do a deep dive into the history of Middle-earth and the Second Age in our next video, uh, our next Shadowcast next week. Um, today, I'm going to bring you a special dark surprise. Um, I'm revealing for the first time uh, a new icon that I created about five years ago. I was in the process of working on it, and uh, this was around the time that I had sort of made the decision to uh, shut down the main website, thelandofshadow.com. And I had been developing this uh, icon for, that, for the site. Uh, was kind of close to revealing it and decided to, since I was closing down the site, not to bother doing it. But now that we're sort of reinventing Mordor, I want to go ahead and uh, present that to you guys today. And it is going to be a reveal online for the first time. You guys are going to be the first people to see it. And I'm very excited to uh, show you guys. Uh, but before I unveil uh, the new icon for the Land of Shadow, uh, here is a quick update on the progress I've made on the website. I don't have a lot to report in this week's video, but I did want to pass on the fact that by the time, by, by next week's Shadowcast, um, I should have the domain name www.thelandofshadow.com uh, will be redirected back to my host server. Uh, very exciting. Uh, I've been wanting to get that done for a while now. Um, I will likely have just a simple landing page for now until I have a chance to upload all the revised pages. Um, but I'm very excited. Uh, it's like the first major step in getting uh, thelandofshadow.com back on the web. Um, and in the meantime, between now and then, and, and, and at, even after next week, I'm going to be working on the individual pages, removing the old animation that is no longer working on the site, and just making some simple, clean, uh, but very dark uh, pages for uh, the Land of Shadow. So that kind of wraps up my update for today. Um, and as promised, um, it's time to reveal our dark surprise. Here it is. Okay, well, I hope you guys uh, like the new 
Eye of Sauron that I have created for Mordor, the Land of Shadow. Um, the reason I had decided to go ahead and create a new icon for, for Mordor, um, I had been using this version of the eye for years, which was a combination of pieces and parts I had kind of cobbled together to create the, uh, the flaming lidless eye of Sauron. Um, however, it was not my own completely. It was not something that I created from scratch. So I wanted to create my own version of the Eye of Sauron. And I wanted something that was a little bit more graphic that could be used uh, easily on a t-shirt or a mug or uh, any kind of uh, merchandise I might develop for uh, thelandofshadow.com. Now, I came to the idea to do this. The idea came to me to do this uh, a couple of years, I guess it was about six years ago, really about a year or so before I closed down the site, I um, had run into some trouble with Warner Brothers. Um, they were, uh, I had developed a line of t-shirts, uh, which I can show you guys here. Uh, they were some fun, interesting uh, t-shirts with some funny sayings on them. And uh, I had posted them on Redbubble so that when people wanted to order the t-shirt, they could. However, <clears throat> it wasn't long after I put them up that Warner Brothers uh, came in with a cease and desist order and forced Redbubble to take down anything that had the word Mordor on it. Now, you may not realize this, but uh, in the copyright, in the world of copyright and Tolkien, and <clears throat> there is Middle Earth Enterprises, which is a Sawzance subsidiary. <clears throat> and if you go to their site, they used to have a list of every word, place name, location within Middle Earth that was copyrighted. You know, you cannot use the word Morgul. You cannot use the word uh, Mordor. You cannot use the word, uh, I mean, there's, I mean, basically all of the name places that are specific to the Lord of the Rings and really are not general names or places are copyrighted <clears throat> and you cannot use them in any form of merchandise. They don't really care if you use the word on a, for instance, on a fan website, they don't really care about that. However, at the time that I put the t-shirts out was just after the promotional, uh, the time of promotion for Shadow of Mordor, the game, and Shadow of War, which had, which had come over, had come out over a year or so, two, two or three year period. And <clears throat> I think they were especially looking for any kind of content online related to Mordor where people were trying to sell merchandise. So the kibosh, they, you know, Warner Brothers put the kibosh on that. Now, one of the things that I did realize through that process was that the term, the land of shadow, is not copyrighted. Uh, it is not trademarked. And uh, so I can use that in any form that I wish. Uh, so I can put the words, the land of shadow on a t-shirt. I just can't use the word Mordor. So I wanted to come up with something, uh, the eye of Sauron, for instance, uh, that I have created here that, that I can put on a t-shirt with thelandofshadow.com or just the land of shadow. Um, but either way, this new I icon uh, is my, I own this icon and I can use it in any way that I choose and it's mine exclusively to use uh, without any proprietary or licensing necessary. So for that, I am very happy uh, to present it. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on the way it looks, uh, if you don't like it, if you think it looks like garbage, let me know, post in the comments section below. Um, you know, I can still make some uh, changes here and there. And I guess I should address a couple of quick things because I'm sure I'm gonna get some questions on these. For one, uh, you might be asking, uh, you know, since it's supposed to be uh, the lidless eye of Sauron wreathed in flame, um, why does it have a lid across the top? Um, I did go ahead and add a lid because I didn't want it to look too much like I had 
picked it from the Lord of the Rings or that it was direct copy of the Eye of Sauron. Um, and you may, so, and also I feel like the, uh, the, the lid gives it a little bit of attitude, which I like. Um, the other thing is that, is it, why is it not wreathed in flames? It's just a circle. Well, I made it just a circle specifically so that I could use it in s locations where I would only have a circle in order to put the graphic. Uh, there might be times that I'll put flames around it, but the, the marks that come in from the sides this way sort of represent or are a, a graphic symbol for flame. So I feel like overall it works. Uh, again, if you have any thoughts on it one way or the other, let me know in the comment section below and, uh, and I'll definitely listen uh, and, and give you my feedback on, on what I think. So, okay, well, that sort of wraps it up for today. I did wanna say that in our next shadow cast, we will be taking, as I had promised, we will be taking a deep dive into the history of Middle Earth during the second age with a focus on Sauron and the forging of the rings of power over that sort of, uh, I think it's over a uh, six or 700 year period um, in, the, in the second millennium of the second age. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you will continue to join me on this journey through the land of shadow. Um, next time I'll see you on the slopes of Mount Doom uh, in the fiery chasm in which the ring